so today I'm talking all things skincare because I cannot believe it has been almost two years since I did a skincare routine video on here. That is madness. So today I'm going to share with you my morning skincare routine and then on Sunday I'm going to do my evening skincare routine. So I'll spare you all of the usual disclaimers that come with these kinds of videos but I guess I should give you a little update on what kind of skin situation I'm working with right now. And right now it's kind of normal-ish I guess we're in that mid-season change where it's not too dry, it's not too oily, it has the odd oily patch and the odd dry patch here and there and it probably will get more dry as we go more into the cooler weather and although I don't suffer with too many whiteheads aside from that time of the month I do have quite a few blackheads on this little strip here which is lovely. In the evening things are definitely geared more towards nourishment whereas in the morning I'm all about the glow. The word glowy will probably be used about 20 times in this video. It's all about making things look very fresh and awake and providing a really good base for whatever makeup I decide to wear that day. So let me set the Scene for you here. I've just woken up, it's about 6 a.m. I'm looking quite terrifying, really, quite grey, very lacklustre in my complexion. It always looks very puffy when I first wake up. I can barely open my eyes past like a half open position, and I also have like a pillow mark etched in my face. So, the first thing that I reach for when I get into my bathroom is this. It's from Oskia and it's the Renaissance Cleansing Gel, and it is basically all kinds of awesome. In the morning I take one pump out on my hand, massage it into my face and there it sort of turns into an oil which is quite nice, quite a nice feeling. It goes from a gel into an oil and then I just take a damp muslin cloth and just slough that away before rinsing my face with some cold water and in the morning that little process feels absolutely incredible. <laughs> the reason why I like this cleanser so much and I've actually been using it for about the last year, year and a half and I've gone through, it's either two or three bottles I can't remember, I think it is three. The reason why I love it is because it leaves my skin feeling very moisturised. It's not stripped at all, but it's very clean. It's just the right balance of feeling very clean, but also not too dried out. They've also updated the packaging of this recently. It used to be a really tall bottle that was just full of packaging and not that much product, whereas here, same amount of product, smaller bottle, I'm feeling it. That little process of putting some water onto my face definitely does make me feel more awake, but this really helps as well. It's from Omravitska and it's their Queen of Hungry Mist, which is a ridiculously pricey product. If you have any recommendations or alternatives, I'm all ears. I'm definitely welcoming them on board. And this is what I use as my toner step. I just spritz it on over sort of towel dried skin and then I just sort of pat it in and very slightly into my face. I try and limit myself to sort of one or two spritzes, but it ends up being more like three or four or five because it just feels so nice. It's a very luxury product, it smells incredible and it just really helps to awaken my skin that extra step and it's almost like the prep before all of the layers of radiance come. Before that though I move on to eye cream and this is a little step that I picked up from the skincare guru that is Caroline Hirons. She suggests putting on your eye cream after your toner and before your serum just to give it a real chance to absorb in. So I've been using this, it's from the Yes to Cucumbers Sensitive Skin Range and it's the Soothing Eye Gel and this is just a clear transparent gel. I put some onto my ring finger, give it a little massage and then dab it in as gently as I can. An I just find this to be very cooling, de-puffing, it's definitely more of a superficial product, I'm not sure what the long term benefits would be of using this, I guess we'd find out in 10, 20, 30 years time, but it really does help to just reduce that puffiness in the eye area. It's especially good if you can be bothered to pop this in your fridge and head to your fridge each morning and dab it on, however, I just think this fridge is too far away even though it's about 10 steps, so I just leave it in my bathroom and hope for the best, but I really do like this and I like the fact that that it comes in this little squeezy tube, which is nice, it means you don't have to dip your finger in any tub or anything like that. Moving on to serum, and this is where the Dewy Skin Mission really seriously kicks in. I use this, it's from Super Facialist by Una Brennan, and it's the Vitamin C Brighten Glow Boost Skin Serum. Now I just take this out, I take about a pea-sized amount, it definitely looks more moisturizy than it does serum-y. Moisturizy, that was definitely a better way of putting that, but it looks more like a cream, it hasn't got that classic serum kind of silky texture to it. And then I just take that over my face, massage it in, and it really does help to brighten the skin. It's got a high level of vitamin C in it, which helps with dullness and evening out your complexion, but I just find that it really brings that glow and it just helps whatever goes on top to absorb that little bit better. Layer number two comes in the form of my day moisturizer, 
moisturiser and I've been using the Yes to Carrots Normal to Dry Skin Rich Moisture Day Cream. I use about half a pump of this, I find that a full pump is a bit too much. Half a pump onto the face, blended in, with the fingertips I find is just about right and I like this stuff. I was using the Zellens 3T Complex before which is ridiculously pricey and when I used it all up I just thought I cannot repurchase this. So I went for a slightly more affordable alternative and I've really been enjoying it. It's quite rich but it's not too heavy and that's what I like about it. Makeup doesn't look too sheeny or too much over the top of it. It actually provides a really good base for makeup and it just leaves things looking very glowy but like I said without that heavy, heavy texture. You can't feel it on the skin at all. It's definitely going to be upping my hydration levels over the colder, more harsher months that are to come. Now onto the final step which I think most of you would probably guess was an SPF and in the summer 100% it was. An SPF is still something that I use if I'm on holiday, of course, and if I'm going to be out and about for the whole day. But I'm a semi-hermit who works from home, and some days my only bit of sunlight is to pop down to Nisa to get some more milk. So on days like that, I don't worry about an SPF, and I just use the protection of whatever I've got in my makeup on that day. And instead, I dose up on my final layer of glow, which comes from Oskia, and it is their Get Up and Glow Radiance Energy and Protection Booster, which does exactly what it says on the tin, I just take one pump of this, one pump is the perfect amount, put it on my face and I just kind of press it in, there's not really too much blending or rubbing that goes on with this. And I do think it might actually be magical. When you look in the bottle it looks very shimmery, it looks like it's got this rose kind of gold shimmer texture going through it, but on the skin there is no shimmer at all, completely undetectable, and it just looks so fresh and awake. It's basically like, you know we've all got those My Lips But Better nudes? It's like that, but for your skin. This is a My Skin But Better product. It just makes things look even fresher than they already are. It gives that real effect of luminosity and being lit from within and especially if I'm having a complete no makeup day feels like a bit of a cheat to use this but it really does just help to really perk things up with the complexion so it's magic it's pricey but I love it so that is everything it might look a little bit time consuming all laid out like this but I promise you it just takes me about five minutes in the morning and I can do it while watching RuPaul's Drag Race which I just adore <laughs> And of course there are more products that I like to incorporate but perhaps not on an everyday basis. So those are going to be popped into a blog post called The Extras which is going to go up on Sunday. So keep an eye out for that and my evening skincare routine which will be up on Sunday as well. So I hope you like that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.